Hey guys, I am back for part two of my first year experience. So there's a couple classes I forgot to mention in my first video and one of them is Gross Human Anatomy Lab. So you will be with a cadaver for the entire first year. I've actually never seen a dead body before in my entire life so I was really really scared of the bodies and luckily your first year they're gonna like have the face covered up so you won't see that until winter quarter. Unfortunately like my cadaver, he was a big dude and he wasn't preserved very well, his muscles were kind of slimy and oozing some liquids, but I got used to it um, <laughs> eventually. So you work in groups of three, which is nice because it's not just you like dissecting the body, you have a team with you to help you. At first I wasn't down for the whole cadaver experience, but towards the end of my first year, I really grew to appreciate the experience because who else gets to hold like a human heart in their hands or a lung and a kidney. It's really like a once in a lifetime opportunity, at least for me because I don't plan on, like I'm not doing anything with surgery. Another class that we take our first year is physical medicine. So I'm actually currently taking my last physical medicine class right now. First year, your first physical medicine class is a hydrotherapy class. That one's pretty fun because it's all about like water cure and we learn contrast hydrotherapy, constitutional hydrotherapy, the benefits of sauna, peats baths, everything having to do with water. And then the second physical medicine class that we take is electrotherapy and that's where we learn how to use things like ultrasound, light therapy, the TENS unit, diathermy, etc. for various conditions. I want to talk about some of the textbooks that I use my first year a lot. I will start with Biochem. This is Mark's basic medical biochemistry. I had a really good biochemistry professor, so biochemistry wasn't that hard for me to understand, but if there was anything that I was a little confused about, I would resort to this book, and usually that helped me get a better understanding. And YouTube is also a good place too. Atlas of Human Anatomy. I feel like if you're in medical school, you have to know who Netter is. This has some great drawings of human anatomy. Here is the throat all the muscles, clinically oriented anatomy. I really like this anatomy book. Anatomy was not my strongest subject in first year. It does a good job at explaining anatomy from a clinical perspective and it also goes into how the body's affected in trauma or if there's a certain disease. Color Atlas Anatomy. This one is for Gross Human Anatomy Lab. This one can be used in conjunction with going into Gross Anatomy Lab and studying the cadavers on your own time outside of class. This has great pictures of actual cadavers and they're labeled with numbers and then below or to the side is usually a list of um, what structure correlates with that number. Grant's dissector. This is also for Gross Anatomy Lab. It actually talks you through how to dissect the cadavers. Our school is interesting in the sense that we cut the bodies in a particular way so that we aren't just going up and chopping up the body and making this like crazy mess. We actually cut the bodies in a way that we can neatly put everything back together. It's just more respectful. And actually at the end of our first year, we hold this memorial ceremony for cadaver. It's really nice because people get really creative and they write poems or they sing songs, anything to express their gratitude and to pay their respects. Bates Guide to Physical Examination Taking. Bates is the book for clinical skills lab and even for physical exam diagnosis when you get into your second year. Bates tells you how to perform the physical exams, tells you what normal findings are, what abnormal findings are. This is the book to reference for physical exams. Atlas of Histology. Yes, we do have to look at slides under a microscope. And I like this book because it has pictures of various cells and tissues that can be found within our body. So it's, it was really useful for histology lab. Medical physiology. Physiology was another class that I kind of struggled with my first year. This, like it says, gives a big picture. It's not very detailed, but it helps you get a better understanding of the overall picture of what's going on. First year was crazy busy. Like, if I could go back and do it again, I don't think I would do that. <laughs> I'm just glad like that part of medical school is over with and now I can continue moving forward. So just a few tips that I would give to a first year. Number one, detox. You are going to be in gross lab with the cadavers who are preserved with formaldehyde. Don't let that stuff stay in your body. 
go sweat it out. Either go work out, go to the sauna, go to the hot tub. I went to the hot tub. Like every Friday, that was my regular routine. I would come home and I would go straight to the hot tub. And that's how I would end my week. And it was awesome. Tip number two, plan and organize. I keep a little planner, I buy one every year, and I write down when every assignment is due, when every exam is coming up, when every quiz is coming up, I write down everything because it's so easy to get caught up and like just fall behind. I highly recommend like planning everything out, keeping track of it. You can like, I like to handwrite it, but you can also put it in your phone. I think it's a great way to stay on top of things and that way like, when you know what to expect, when you know things are due, I feel like it's just less stress. Tip number three. If you can, I would draw out everything. My first year, I was drawing like muscles, the bones. I was drawing out everything that I could. But if you're good at drawing, I think that's a great way to learn and to study. Even like drawing out the biochemical pathways is really great. That's what I would do. I would draw them out. I would keep drawing the pathways. And then when I would take my exams, the first thing I would do is draw out my pathway on the exam somewhere in like a blank space. Handwrite things and draw things. And tip number four, self-care. I think it's so important to take time for yourself to do things that you love still. It's so easy to get caught up in like, oh, I have to study, I have to do this, I don't have time for anything, I don't have time to be social, I don't have time to talk to my family. You do, you just gotta make time for it. Even if it's like five minutes out of the day doing something that you love, it's better than nothing, right? You need to take breaks or you're gonna get burnt out really fast. I used to go to the beach like all the time because I live in California, the beach is like 10 minutes away from me, not even sometimes. That way you can come back to your studying, you're gonna feel more refreshed and you're gonna retain more information. All right, that is all I have for you. Stay tuned for another video coming to you soon. And if you have any requests, I've had a couple people request some videos and I get so excited when I see that. So if anyone has any video requests, like please comment below or message me. I will definitely take them into consideration. I'm always open to new ideas of what to film next. Bye guys.